hey, where do I invest to get the best return on investment in Orlando? I get that question all the time. I mean, all the time. My name is Jay Brightlow. I'm the owner and operator of Grand Welcome right here in Greater Orlando. And I want to just run through with you the most common areas that people invest in. The answer to where do I get the best ROI largely depends on your strategy overall. And there's a lot of variables that goes into it. But generally speaking, like if you invest in one of these properties that are on the map here, it may or may not get a good return. So there's a whole, a whole series of questions. How are you going to use it? Uh, are friends going to use it? How do you want to rent it? Uh, what type of use are you going to have with it? What's your debt servicing strategy? What's the HOA cost? There's, there's so many variables, and I, I'd never break it down to a bottom line. I want to be really clear. What we do at Grand Welcome when we provide revenue projections, and you can reach out to me today, and I'll provide you a revenue projection. Um, all we do is just build out the top line, the debt servicing, the HOA, and the taxes. You know, we can be helpful with some of those things, but for the most part, um, those are things that your realtor will help you out with. I'm not a realtor. I'm just a property manager, and I stay in my lane. But what I do want to go do today is I want to go through some of the more common communities that people are looking at and their proximity to Disney. So first of all, let's actually open up the map. Uh, the, the blue line is the blue dots where I live, but most commonly, here's the airport. So people are going to fly into the airport um, and they're generally going to come down 417 or 528. This is I-4 here, and Disney's right here. So you need to get to Disney first and foremost. And what my STR map is is basically a, an overlayment of Google Maps with some of the more common areas. Um, so again, here, here's Google Maps, and these are most of our units are down here, not all of them, but some of them. And again, the airport's going to be right here. So right down 528 or 417, down I-4, gets you to your to the Disney area. A little bit further up here is going to be, um, well, you saw Aquatica there. Or on Dr. Phillips, this is where Universal is. So let's take a look at the different communities. So here's I-4 to orient you. So get really familiar with I-4. So you really need to get to... Here's the 417 that I mentioned earlier that comes in from the airport one way, and the other way is coming down off of uh, off of the other tollway and hitting I-4 this way. So there's three kind of distinct areas. One is east of I-4, and this is where Story Lake's the biggest community that people know of off of 192. And so when to get orientated on a map, let's zoom in a little bit more. The most common landmark is going to be this I-4 and 192. This is Earl Bronson, and you really want to know where you are off of 192 because as soon as you get on the other side of 192, the north side of 192, this is all Disney here. So all Disney, and then you got to get further up I-4. <clears throat> and once you get further up I-4, here's where Universal is. Universal Orlando Resort, Volcano Bay, Aquaticas over here, SeaWorld. So those are the three big amusement parks. Or Universal, SeaWorld, and then of course this monstrosity that is Disney. So when you purchase, the one thing you cannot affect is how close you can get to Disney. And the reason why I'm not covering a whole bunch up here is because this is Orange County. So if you type in Orange County, Florida, you see you get this kind of weird square. And you'll notice that all of my pins are basically just south of there. Orange County in Orlando has a whole bunch of restrictions on short-term properties. You can, generally speaking, unless you're in like three, kind of four big condo complexes, you generally can't do Airbnb, VRBO type rentals in Orlando slash Orange County. You need to be down in Kissimmee or Davenport. So Kissimmee and Davenport. And just to give you an idea where Kissimmee Falls. There's Kissimmee. And th that's the city of Kissimmee. But more importantly, what we're after is Osceola. That's Osceola. And you can see right where that line is, how everything is wrapped up really nicely in Osceola County, Kissimmee. And then all this is going to be Davenport down here. You don't see those delineations when you look at my map. 
Solterra, this is for sure, and Davenport. Reunion is going to be Osceola Kissimmee. Solara, Osceola Kissimmee. All the Windsors, Paradise Palms, those are all Kissimmee. Just so you know, when you're looking at um, like Realtor.com or Redfin, and you look at Champions Gate, Champions Gate actually is in Davenport, Florida, but it's in this little small pocket of Davenport that actually is in Osceola County. So if you end up with a Champions Gate property, you will be you will be filing your county taxes in Osceola County, just as a point of reference. So again, looking at the map here. <clears throat> The closer you are to 192, the better you are. And you can see Story Lake's proximity. It's very easy from Story Lake to just kind of pop over to Disney. Veranda Palms is a newer community. And actually, there's a new Story Lake that's going in over here. Those are two very, very uh, great locations, very close to the parks. Terra Verde, this is a nice little community. Lake Berkeley, Bella Vida. I don't, I don't manage much in Bella Vida, but Lake Berkeley, we do a whole bunch of management in there as well as Terra Verde. These are very close to 192. Uh, for me, it's actually it's actually a little bit too close. Um, there's a fair amount of traffic on this Poinciana Boulevard. So as like a guest, I wouldn't necessarily love staying down here, but they do very well in terms of what you can get price per dollar for your investment. So that's the east of I-4 area. West of I-4, the closest one's going to be Margaritaville. Um, Margaritaville, if you don't know it, let's just type it in the map here. There's Margaritaville. And Margaritaville's just got a tremendous location very close to Disney. Just, it's just right there. And the nice thing about Margaritaville, if we put this in satellite mode, See, there's, you can see there's Avatar. So this is going to be Animal Kingdom over here. Just super close. And the nice thing about Margaritaville is that you are this island H2O water park. It's an awesome park, very close by. Um, this Sunset Walk is just a really, really cool place. So people will pay extra to be an owner in Margaritaville. And we've got a lot of homeowners who trust us with their properties in Margaritaville. Um, but if I was an investor just looking for return on investment because the property prices are so high there, because the location is so great, the experience is so great, there's usually not a very great return straight out of the gate at Margaritaville. You have to be very, very careful. And we generally recommend if you're going to purchase in Margaritaville that you have a spa at a minimum, ideally a pool attached to your property. So that's the Margaritaville area. If you don't want to pay Margaritaville prices, but take advantage of the Margaritaville uh, resort amenities, Sunset Walk, the H2O Water Park. There's some really cool places, Acadia Estates, Oak Island, o Oak Island, Harbor Island, all these little areas in through here, Formosa Gardens, really, really, really great returns on those, as well as just a little bit further over this island here. Um, this is Emerald Island, and you'll see that on the map here. Margaritaville's 14, Emerald Island's 9. Windsor Hills, Windsor Palms, those are all very, very close by, right up 429, puts you right at the park. Windsor West Side, highly, highly desirable, very easy to own, very easy to manage at Windsor West Side, one of my favorite ones. If you're into a condo <clears throat> and you want to get a, you're not going to get home run type returns, but you will always get a return. Bahama Bay's got a great location. It's the condo complex that we generally recommend. Very easy to manage and easy to purchase, easy to, to, to do a whole bunch of things at Bahama Bay. I'll just type that in here just so you can see where it is. There it is, Bahama Bay. And so again, where you are is you're right up West Side Boulevard, right to 192. And once you're on 182, you're, you're really at the parks there. So that's that's a really nice location. Anything along this Florence Villa Grove Road is nice. He's a lot of single-family homes, three, four-bedroom homes in here. Those all really do, do well. Tuscan Hills, one of the properties that we manage is in here. So just a really nice area. Um, Regal Palms, similar to Bahama Bay, just a little bit further down the road. This is actually in Davenport now, and so is Bahama Bay. <clears throat> you just you go like one block and you're in Davenport, you're in Kissimmee. 
Regal Palms is our townhome. So these are the four bedroom, three bedroom townhomes. And they're they're quite nice actually. Let's see if I can just there's Regal Palms Resort. Right there. And you, you know, they're very iconic, these little yellow looking um, homes that are here. They all kind of look the same on the outside. The nice thing, if you actually zoom in on this, is they've got a really nice, albeit in the summer, very busy, uh, lazy river, water slide for the kids. You can see it as I'm moving in on it there, the, the overview. So there's an arcade in there, hot tubs, kids play area. And it's just it's very, very easy to access, very popular. You're not going to hit, again, home run type of returns on it, but you will always get a return at Regal Palm. So it's one of the ones that we generally recommend. We talked about Champions Gate. There's two parts of Champions Gate right now. They're building on the north side of Champions Gate, and then there's the existing Champions Gate that's been there a long time. Kind of everybody knows Champions Gate. Um, one of the things that we can do and I'll pull this up right now, is we do provide these data scrapes. So if you're in Champions Gate, like, oh, I kind of like the idea of it, you can reach out to me and I can send this your way. But we have a, generally speaking, the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are the ranges that each of the floor plans falls into. This is just top line, gross revenue projection coming in. So if you had a six-bedroom house, You'd be looking at seventy-two to sixty-two thousand. A seven-bedroom, seventy-five to eighty-five thousand. A lot of times, the seven bedrooms track like an eight-bedroom, and they come in at ninety-five thousand. How well themed is it? So, so there's a lot of variation with these prices, and these are pretty conservative here. Just, but just some idea of, of like where your property generally would fall. So that's Champions Gate. Um, Providence is down here. A lot of Providence, you can't tour term rental in. Water song, very nice, quiet community. A little bit, well, it, a little bit. It's a lot further away from Disney. Some people want to be a little further away. They don't mind being further away. They're just going to go to Disney for one day, make the 20, 30 minute drive up there. They don't really care. Um, they just want a nice, quiet community. And the Water Song community generally does really well. And Solterra, that's a old ish and new ish community. Lazy River, Slide. The problem with Solterra is that it's, it's just very busy and they're, they're still building. And so the community area can't, on some days, can't support all the guests that want to get into Solterra. Reunion is a pretty well-known entity. There's some restrictions in Reunion with some of the pools, um, depending on who you use for your property manager in Reunion. So I always tell people, if you're looking at Reunion, let's have a conversation first about your overall strategy, what you're looking to do. We do manage in Reunion, and they do very well, uh, but we only have condos, three-bedroom condos in Reunion that we are currently managing. A lot of these big, like, two, three million dollar houses, those are in Reunion. Most of those people aren't purchasing those houses for a return. They're purchasing for themselves or for a tax write-off or to park money, and then they also rent it out. V very nice location, though, and it's a really really nice area this this road right here that goes right down to reunion um that road is old lake wilson it can get quite busy especially in the peak times the summer times so paradise palms we didn't talk about that really great location we do manage in paradise palms also um a little bit less upside here on paradise palms because the location is so good and it's so close to 192 you're kind of running into the same thing with margaritaville where the property prices have gone up so high it's difficult to get a great return unless you're you have a significant amount of money to put down or you plan to spend some time there love paradise palms the one of the downsides is that the five and six bedroom homes there only have a single garage not a double garage and it's the double garages that do really well with creating extra space for game rooms and playrooms and things like that but again, they've got a really nice play area, pool area, a little grotto waterfall thing going on there as well. And that's going to be right here on the map. You see Paradise Palms. But very easy to get around there. Most everything is a walking distance there. And we can zoom in on the pool a little bit. But also, it does get crowded there as well. And they are 
Paradise Palms is known for having a very strict security guard. Every guest needs to be entered in order for um, for someone to gain entry. Not that that necessarily matters in your decision. It's just it's a it's a more secure community than some of them. And there's a bunch of other things. There's a bunch of other little pocket communities. This area up here where 192 ends and goes up 27, this is Claremont. And there's some really great returns in Claremont also. So that's like the hidden investing part. And you're just an easy trip right down 27 to 192, and then you're at the park. Boom. Pretty easy to get to the parks. <clears throat> but people often forget about Claremont. But Claremont's right there. And then, obviously, Kissimmee, and then again, a little bit further down, Davenport. Uh, I mentioned Champions Gate, that there's a new and an old Champions Gate. Let's just quickly look at that on the map. Your street is Bella Cita, is Bella Cita Boulevard. Everything that's north of here is the new Champions Gate. Everything south of here is the old Champions Gate. If you're purchasing in Champions Gate, one of the things to consider is how close is your property relative to the Oasis Club. Again, Lazy River, water slide, cabanas, heated pool, hot tubs, there's a lot of stuff at the Oasis. These that are right in here on Moon, <coughs> excuse me, on Moon Valley Drive, just a short walk over, those are highly desirable. But I mean, again, like everything is pretty much walking distance. If you're a homeowner, we recommend that you have a stroller there for parents who do not want to drive over and they're going to walk over. Some people walk, some drive. But again, this is the, the Champions Gate area. I hope that was helpful. I can tell you this. This Ronald Reagan Parkway and I-4 has long been like a massive roadblock for traffic. The infrastructure just was not there to support it, especially at this intersection right here. I know that they're just finishing up construction on that right now, and it has been consistently better. So the traffic in and out of Champions Gate is much improved. Let's see what happens when I push traffic. Yeah, only a little orange spot there right now where historically it's almost always red. So we are seeing the traffic situation around the parks improve. All right, gang, hope this was helpful. If you would like a revenue projection on something that you're shopping or one of these communities, hey, just let me know. I'll send it over to you. I've got lots of data. Here's Solara. I call it data scrape. And you can see just boom. It just quick reference guide about what am I going to get. We can provide that for you straight away. Go ahead and drop me a note, comment. I'm really easy to get. Hope this is helpful.